Ideas find and claim us. We are merely their vessels, not their architects. A year ago, I designed and built a smart bot, but I wasn't satisfied enough with it to create a full video about it. Now, a year later, I built an improvement version of my smart bot. Let me show you how I did it. As the first step, I designed my project in Blender to be able to 3D print it. The smart pot should have personality, so my girlfriend designed different sets of eye and even a mobile app interface. Maybe in the future, we will use that for the next version. For the next step, I wrote the code for the animation of the eye to act randomly and express its feeling based on the environment and the condition of the plant. This optical lens always makes the eye look great, but it's too late to use it in this project. However, I have a great plan for it in the next video. It's time to turn the design into reality. So I 3D printed the parts. My 3D printer is not that great, but it does the job for me. Now we have our project shell. I needed to make it look like an old piece of tech, protecting its plant host for many years. Although I'm not skilled at painting, I made an effort to do my best. Here is the final result. I think it looks good. Let me know in the comments if I'm delusional or not. Our smart pot needs a brain, which is where the electronics and the PCB comes in. I had a lot of fun designing a PCB that fits perfectly inside the shell without getting in the way. Let me show you the components I use for the PCB. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you're looking to bring your electronics project to life, look no further than GLC PCB. EDA software for seamless design, high quality PCB manufacturing, extensive component sourcing, stencil service, and complete PCBA assembly. With fast turnout times and affordable pricing, GLC PCB is perfect for everyone from hobbyists to professionals. Simply head over to glcpcb.com Upload your PCB design files, select your preferences, and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. JLC PCB offers 6 layer PCBs starting at $35, with a $30 coupon available. You can experience high quality multi layer PCBs for just $5. First, we need a microcontroller. I used an ESP32, which has Wi Fi and other capabilities, making it convenient for the future updates and new versions. The USB Type-C and the CP2102 make it convenient for both powering the device and programming it without needing an external USB 2 TTL. To monitor temperature and humidity, I used a DHT22 sensor. To power most components, I need 3.3V and the LF33 helps by converting the 5V input of the USB to 3.3V. I added a TF player to the PCB, but I didn't use it. Maybe in the future our smart pot could have a voice. Finally, an LDR, buzzer and connector for the external water sensor were added to the PCB. After everything was ready to assemble, I placed the PCB in the bottom part. It took a little wire work for the sensors, but everything is ready now. To keep an eye on the soil, I decided to use a water sensor. It fits right in with the plant and other parts of the smart pot, so it's not out of place. And that's how the smart pot was created. I also don't have a name for it, perhaps you could help me with some ideas in the comment section. You can follow the progress of my other project on Instagram and if you'd like to support the channel, consider becoming a Patreon member or simply sharing this video with your friend. And as a reminder, the power to bring into existence the things you dream of lies within you.